Question 5. Part I asks us to find, using calculus, the x-coordinates of the turning point of the curve with equation y equals e to the 3x cos 4x. x is between pi over 4 and pi over 2. Give your answer to four decimal places. Using calculus automatically tells us that we should either be thinking about differentiating or integrating in this question. To answer this question, we need to remember the product rule. And we begin by labelling this first term to e to the 3x as our u and cos 4x as our v. So u equals e to the 3x and v equals cos 4x. Differentiating u, we have to differentiate the power which gives us 3 multiplied by the term itself. So du dx equals 3 e to the 3x. Differentiating cos 4x, we differentiate the 4x to get 4 differentiating cos gives us minus sign so dv dx would be minus 4 sine of 4x. The product rule states that for the product of u times v dy dx will be equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. Substituting these terms we've just worked out into the product rule gives us v is cos 4x du dx is our 3 e to the 3x, u is e to the 3x, and dv dx is minus 4 sine 4x. In both terms we can see that we have an e to the 3x, so we can take this out as a factor. And inside the bracket we will have a 3 cos 4x, a minus 4 sine 4x. To find the turning points, we need to remember that once you've found dy dx, we set it equal to 0 and solve, which gives us the turning points. So setting this to 0, we know that e to the 3x cannot be equal to 0. A quick sketch of the curve shows that it never actually touches the x-axis, so it's never equal to 0. Therefore, what's in the bracket must be equal to 0. So we have 3 cos 4x minus 4 sine 4x equal to 0. Moving this term to the other side gives... Divide by the 4... And then divide by the cos 4x. Remember, sine over cos always gives us tan from the identity. Therefore, sine 4x over cos 4x will give us tan 4x. The limits in the question says that x is between pi over 4 and pi over 2. However, we are solving for 4x. So we have tan 4x equals 3 quarters. Therefore, we need new limits for the 4x times in x by 4 gives us the 4x, so we times both sides here by 4 as well to get 2 pi and pi. So we need 4x to be between pi and 2 pi. Doing a quick sketch of the tan graph, these asymptotes appear every 180 degrees. So this is at 90 degrees. This is at 270 degrees, and this point here is our 360 degrees. In radians, these are pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And this point here is 180 degrees, which is pi. Now our new limits are between pi and 2 pi. So we're interested in the part of the curve from here to here. So solving for tan 4x equals 3 quarters, so we've drawn y equals tan 4x, the y equals 3 quarters would look like this. In between the limits that we have of pi and 2 pi, there's only a single solution. So we're going to have only one answer. Taking arc tan of 3 quarters, 4x equals, which equals 0 0.6435. 
To get the next solution, remember tan repeats every 180 degrees, so we'll add 180 or pi to this answer to get 3.785. This is the answer that we are looking for because it's in the region that we've just drawn here. But remember, this is what 4x equals to. Dividing this by 4 gives us 0 0.9463. Part 2 says, given x equals sine squared 2y, y between 0 and pi over 4, find dy dx as a function of y. Write your answer in the form dy dx equals p cosec qy, where p and q are constants to be determined. Before differentiating, we should rewrite x as sine 2y all squared. So using the chain rule, dx dy now equals... We can bring the power down, so multiply by the 2. What's in the bracket stays the same. We take 1 away from the power, so it becomes a 1. And we multiply it by the derivative of what's in the bracket. Derivative of 2y is 2. Derivative of sin gives us cos. And then it's cos of 2y. Simplify, and this becomes 4 sin 2y cos 2y. Remembering the double angle formula, we know that sin 2y equals 2 sin y cos y. This isn't given in the formula booklet, but it can be derived from the addition formula, which is given in the booklet. If we know that sin 2y equals 2 sin y cos y, we can double these angles to get sin 4y equal to 2 sin 2y cos 2y. We're looking for 4 sin 2y cos 2y, so we need to multiply this by 2. We now have 2 sin 4y equals 4 sin 2y cos 2y. So our derivative, we now know, equals 2 sin 4y. Using another form of the chain rule, we know that dy dx equals 1 over dx dy. So our dy dx is going to be equal to 1 over 2 sin 4y. We can separate this to get half times 1 over sin 4y which is equal to a half cosec 4y. Comparing our results with this, we can see p equals a half, q equals 4. 